Guys, good evening. It is Tuesday night, November 16th, 2021. And I'm just cutting this video real quick because I wanted to touch base with you guys. I was supposed to drop this documentary this weekend that I've been working on. Uh, and then some fireworks happened over the weekend. And then closing arguments came for the Rittenhouse trial. And right now, actually, I'm playing. Uh, Rogan is on Tim Pool right now with Michael Malice and a couple other people, and they're talking about the trial. Rook, tell me. This is what happens in cultures. Like, they go through these, like, these pitches, these ups and downs, and it's almost inevitable. Like, it's almost impossible for us with our human reward systems that are based on, like, animal emotions and biology to, man to manage millions and millions and millions of people all on one continent with money and the economy and the fucking environment. It's almost impossible to do. So it almost always slides into authoritarianism. Yeah. And the best way it slides into authoritarianism is to control the narrative. Yeah. The uh, but hold on, hold on. Keep talking about this because we'll this is an time. important thing to like expand on what we're talking about here. Like this is n it, here's the problem. Here's the big problem. Why did he have to do that? He was called well, Hold on. Why did he I have, have to do that? You. Why, Why did the police he stand no, 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 no. What what compelled him to do that? Because Lawless there was reason. anarchy. Because there was reason. chaos in the street and because they were allowing it to happen. Correct. The reason why people were willing to tell their kid, hey, this is a good idea to get your fucking loaded gun and uh, we're, we're going to like... It's because civilization's yeah. collapsing. Right. We finally go, hell, let's have a war. This, this, not but this, wasn't, right. this wasn't anarchy. This was state-funded, mainstream media promoted... Chaos. Come on, that was bailing out the Mount Harris. literally peaceful. bailing them right, out with right, big right. tech social so media promoting these protests. These people aren't. Listen, I showed up on night one in Kenosha, right? And right when I showed up on the scene, they already had dumpster trucks on fire. Yeah. The reason trucks. why I decided to take an Uber from Chicago all the way to Kenosha was because on Twitter, they were already taking bricks to police officers' heads and knocking them unconscious. So there was literally nothing peaceful. It was never a peaceful protest from night one. Mostly, I know the mainstream media doesn't peaceful, want to talk about bro. this. A mostly fiery, peaceful <laughs> protest, yeah. right? But it was, listen, I always say this, Kenosha, when you were walking down the street, people had their windows boarded up. They were writing things like, children live here. You want to know why they were writing that? Because there was a threat to the community. There was an obvious threat to the community. They people thought that help. they were going to die, Alex. People thought that they were going to die in Kenosha because of violent acts that were being committed by these criminals. And they're trying to paint this picture that they were peaceful protesters. At no point was Kenosha a peaceful protest on night one, night two, or night three. And Joseph bias. Rosenbaum was violent. Uh -huh. So I kind of got caught up in the trial unexpectedly. I thought for some reason I had heard through the news that this kid was going to be found guilty. Uh, he had shot a bunch of people, BLM protesters, during the Kenosha riots. And everyone that he killed was just a lawful protester. And he went on a shooting rampage. Uh, the way the media had put it out, he was this white supremacist and all these things. And then I started to slowly listen to the trial. And then so I backed up and started all the way from opening, uh, opening statements to the closing arguments, which ended yesterday. And so I've been holding off releasing that video. I just want you to know I have not sold any of my AMC shares. I have still been tracking the price, everything going on with it. But I feel like Kyle Rittenhouse is not the only person on trial right now. I was so misinformed about the events of that night that it was kind of embarrassing. It seemed like everywhere I turned, the narrative was the same. And that's what they're talking about right now on Tim Pool's uh, IRL podcast tonight. Rogan's talking about them controlling the narrative, the mainstream media. And the reason I'm down this rabbit hole is because of AMC. Because of everything that we learned back in the beginning of the year with GameStop and what happened with the media uh we found out how they like to manipulate and spread fud and do all these things and it just kind of ballooned from there and the more deeper i've dug into the events around this trial i've just found a ton of information that has not been given to the american public and when i started to listen to the trial and what was going on and seeing 
how the media was covering it, I realized there were two totally different stories going on. What I was hearing during the trial, live every day, and what I was hearing at night when I would come home. And so I'm going to make this video still. I feel like uh, it's 9 o'clock now, and they have sent the jury home for the day. Outside the courthouse, tensions are starting to grow as protesters and supporters wait for the jury's verdict. 500 National Guard troops are standing by outside Kenosha in case there's unrest. Over eight days of testimony, prosecutors try to portray Rittenhouse as an instigator with an AR-15 style weapon who was looking for trouble. His defense argued Rittenhouse went to provide medical help in the town where his father lived and ultimately had to defend himself. Put it out. The so they deliberated all day today. They didn't come to a verdict decision, but they'll be back tomorrow. And I'm assuming they will probably have a verdict by tomorrow. But who knows? Um, but I've been kind of holding off on putting the video out because there just was more and more information coming out. So if they're sending the National Guard, they are definitely nervous about what this verdict is going to be. And I'm not going to comment anything about the verdict until the trial is over and it's actually come out. I don't want to sound selfish or anything like that, but I want to make sure that this moment in history is recorded and that I say something about it because... There could be vast implications as far as the Second Amendment goes from here on out. And the question then becomes, what's the next amendment that they're going to start stomping on? And if it's the First Amendment, then you can kiss all this goodbye. Once they take away the First Amendment by starting with the Second, there is no more ape nation. And so I think it's important that this get covered and I trust myself to do the research and make sure I get the narrative right. And I will try to relay that to all of you guys if you're interested in it. Uh, I will still make my AMC videos before the end of the week is out. And obviously, I will draw any attention that needs to be drawn to AMC for any big news. You will have information on it. But I didn't want this chance to slip me by because I think we're at a very interesting turning point going forward and i could be wrong about that but i have a feeling i'm not i will be out with that video very soon as soon as this verdict is dropped all right guys have a great night and i appreciate your patience this is ape nation i'm the massalorian and i'm out